It's fine. You need 3,000 for something coming up. Just we also fought a lot of monsters on the way up to Yukiko. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. Wow, that was a coincidence. <laughs> Yasuke, you cheap ass motherfucker. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That, that. So what, was it free because your father's the manager? Yakisoba griddle. Oh, well, steak is steak. I like how Chie thinks. <laughs> steak is steak. Steak is steak. Yeah, whether it's it's from the nice grill pub thing down the block or, fried or octopus dumpling grill. Straight from Taco Bell. <laughs> it's far from a filet steak though. Steak is steak. Yukiko, are you okay with this? Not too heavy for you? I mean Yukiko can eat like a quarter of it and Chie can just have the rest. I'll eat it. I'm sorry. So back on topic. <laughs> Chia, you feel no emotion about Yukiko's food. I'm still mad. My fried tofu. Although, wait, if it was instant noodles, how was it fried tofu? Someone explain this to us in the comments. Me Suzu Harak, that's it. You were close. I know it was Suzu or Misuru something. I'm thinking of Mitsuru from three. Yeah, I was gonna say one of those things sounded familiar. <laughs> one of these things is not like the others. Either that or one of these things is a lot like the others. <laughs> okay, what about the second case? Saki Senpai. She found the announcer's body. Copycat killer. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target- Why are you assuming? He's making an ass out of you and Ming. Poor Ming. Yosuke. Yosuke Broske. It was a coincidence. It was to shut her up, obviously. Right Brain thinks this. Yeah, I think so too. Yosuke agrees. She found a clue or something about the culprit. Maybe not. You mean the fact she was tangled in an antenna? But I love dead bodies. TV, right? <laughs> Why can't she get thrown in a TV? <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> oh but then we have a new party member, so it's fine. Nameless, portraitless woman who likes dead bodies? Yeah. It's called necrophilia. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. went there. <laughs> I went there. I mean, I don't think... Well, I, she, she never specified her... Uh, Desires with this, the dead body, but okay, yeah. Much less a high school student would catch. Talking about evidence. Evidence. Echinescence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wake me up. Man, wake me up inside. Can't wake up. It's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. How is it that we can hear him? He was like way over there. Oh, when he okay. started talking. So you know the uh, you know the thing on any TV show where it's like the family member turns to talk to another person on a couch and the TV just stops making noise so you can hear them. <laughs> Fun fact: the TV does not actually stop making noise whenever you turn away to talk to a family member. I don't know. It sure sounds like it does. I don't know why. It must be like the you must have muted the TV. So I was working today and I could have sworn I heard the Juness music over the speaker. I don't know why. I should go and request <laughs> them to add the Juness theme to Walmart Radio. Every day's great at your gym. Walmart. No, I need to just be like, eh, you know, like all like singing and proud. Every day's know. great at your Walmart. Yes, just like that. Walmart. Ooh, they updated the menu. Adachi seems happy that they updated the menu. I miss the fact that we don't get the social link with him. He just wants to make you dinner. Hey, you were at Dojima Sons. Y yeah, I I live there. <laughs> I'm not. Oh wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima San said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanaka chan? So he'll be leaving at like 11. 11. <laughs> Second shift ends. Yo, I'm Adachi, Yo. 
Go for it. You don't think very highly of yourself if you instantly call yourself a gopher. I, I mean, he's the coffee guy. I mean, Adachi, where's my coffee? Are you this busy every day? Okay, Winks. <laughs> he's saying that sarcastically. That's the best part. Because he can tell Adachi's not doing shit. seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki Senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. Huh, interesting. The culprit is probably not Ninaba. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. The dead body tangled in an antenna? I, I wouldn't understand that. Only that. a high school student would understand. It's almost like this is fucking puzzle games. I mean, everybody knows that once you hit 25, you don't understand puzzles anymore, so. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. It's her father! Nothing like that. <laughs> oh. I have the worst daughter in the world! Her father was very upset that she, um, she, she was working at Juness. And destroying the family business. Every day's great at your Walmart. Me and my big mouth. Don't tell anyone I said any of that. Go shove some steak in your big mouth. Relax, kids. The police are on the job. That like <laughs> the way the way good old good old Johnny Young Bosch delivers that line. He like went straight from his Adachi voice right into his standard Johnny Young Bosch voice with that last line. <laughs> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Like he totally sounded like Guy when he said that sentence. <laughs> also, can I just talk about the fact that I'm let's playing two games where two of the main characters are voiced by Yuri Lowenthal and Johnny Young Bosch? Because our protagonist here is also voiced by Johnny Young Bosch, not just Adachi. It's like, it doesn't... I could have sworn Dokapon had something in it that was relevant. And Dokapon uh, has Dr. Exiles, who is voiced by yeah, Yuri Lowenthal. I thought for a second you were talking about Tales of the Abyss. I was like, was Yuri Lowenthal in Tales of the Abyss? Yes, he is. He's Luke. He's in three games! Yes. I, I, I was... I specifically was using Abyss, though, because... Um, both Yuri Lowenthal and, and Johnny Young and Bosch. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I was thinking about that. I was like, uh, isn't Yuri Lowenthal in Dokapon? But yes, Yuri Lowenthal is also in Dokapon. <laughs> it's the year of Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chia and Yukiko hook up. The stupid things that come out of your mouth when you're not paying attention. Oh, you were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. He didn't even walk away when she started saying that. <laughs> he was still in an earshot when she said that. Well, considering we can hear him from all the way off screen. Steak's getting cold. Why didn't you start eating the steak yet? About the steak for five seconds. Please. And Shove the steak in your mouth. Just eat like any good old anime main character that's not quite the protagonist. Why are we going into the TV world? Ask Teddy some questions. Trippy animation that you'll never get used to because it lags. Oh, I got a fucking migraine. That animation is so much smoother and golden. I swear to God. Wow, this really is inside the TV. <laughs> oh, so the giant it's bird, coming. The giant bird in the cage, and the fact that you were trapped here didn't tip you off. There's actually a world inside the TV. That beautiful moment is coming. I know. I know. I heard you the first time. I just had to reiterate it because... I know. Yeah. That it wasn't a dream. She thought she was dreaming?! Yukiko, you're an idiot! She's wearing her kitty panties. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, hope when your girl, I hope when you have a girlfriend and she goes back and watches this, she slaps you for that. <laughs> 
I don't think I have to worry about anything. What's in the past is in the past. <laughs> you, on the other hand, you have to be careful. Speaking of, did Rissa smack you for any of that stuff you said? No, she just laughed hysterically. Good. <laughs> I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. Teddy yes, he's a pet! Teddy is a mascot character. Well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. Oh, right. Glasses. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? For a moment, for some reason, I thought that Yukiko's character model already had the glasses on, and I'm like, she doesn't have them it's yet. It's so hard to see, because I can barely tell Chie is wearing them. It was only yeah. after I saw Yosuke's glasses on his feet that I processed... On his feet? On his on face? His feet. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing them on his feet! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it was only after I saw that it was on his, his portrait that I, like, saw them on Chie's face, and that explains the weird line running across our temple of our main character. <laughs> It's already got them ready for her. I am blind. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time. So I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. So did you build or did you uh put the, the glasses in your, your bear suit? Where do you pull them out of? That's another good question. He doesn't have any pockets, I don't think. I see. But don't you need a pair? Uh another good question. Ooh, good point. Another great question. <laughs> good job, Devin! <laughs> themselves are lenses. Oh that answered God, my robot. question. <laughs> He's a robot. You didn't know? You didn't know? <laughs> of course not. I didn't remember. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I, I think Yukiko's the only one that's actually interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. I mean, we are. See how well. smoothly my fingers move? He's actually <laughs> delicately moving his fingertips. What am I even looking at? Doesn't he just have a thumb and like a a a? I don't even know what to call it. The rest of his fingers are fused together. It's a mitten. One. Thank, thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like a mitten. Hmm? You dropped something. How did those not break? <laughs> oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, um, Yukiko? <laughs> well, I, <look. laughs> I get out of the lab. Oh my god, no! <laughs> it doesn't fit you. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Looks my favorite nice. part is during the animation when they're following you around during s is it summer break. <laughs> and all of them have them on. Yukiko, I don't think this is a good disguise. What are you talking about? It's perfect! <laughs> Fine, we'll go with left brain. You seem almost not disappointed. I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose scar. Oh my fuck. And Golden, can't you just make it so everyone wears that pair? I think so. I think it's a customization thing. Yeah, you're right. Oh no, you don't. Fortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Guess I should have made an actual pair. Ah, too bad. <laughs> Here, Chie, your turn. Ah, oh, man. All right, fine. <laughs> Just for you, Yukiko. Just for you. Just for shits and giggles. Here it comes. Is the thumbnail for this episode just gonna be Chie in the glasses? Probably. Either that or it'll be Yukiko dying of laughter like she is right now. Just, you know, in anime form. Uh, 
<laughs> How did it come to this? I wish I could turn the camera in cutscenes so I could actually look at the at GA's the model. model. And then there's another endearing character trait. We're learning a lot, of, a lot about Yukiko this session. I don't know, this session might just have thumbnails all about Yukiko. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. Throw them off the side. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? And what about the mustache? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. You seem so resolute about that statement. This is what happens when I get bored. You seem like a five-year-old who tore up the house while his mom was awake for five minutes. <laughs> See what happens when I get bored, mom. Damn it. This is what I don't like about this part. And left brain wants to date this. <laughs> you know full well who the actual one on one date is, but well, yeah, but I mean, but because it's not the same one that right brain wants to date, we have to go with a different one. Which one did you want again? Oh, Reese. Yeah. I mean, we could technically do all of them, the but that seems like a bad idea. Oh, look, it's almost time for Golden Week. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Huh? <laughs> Does that mean we can go on a trip? Really? Really? She got really excited and really disappointed immediately. It's like, really? Really, really? Not every year. Just, just you know, like just, last year and the year before and just, the year before that. Just the six years you've been alive, Nanako. Oh, that's that that that's that's depressing. <laughs> that's really depressing. When did her mom die? Six years ago. It's like, there is there like a, yes, I do know the 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 Dojima back plot, back plot, backstory, but like, is it is it really six years ago? I thought it was like when maybe. I thought four, when, I, thought I think. I thought it was when Nanako was two. So, so four, four years. years ago. That's what I thought. We'll we'll find out later, perhaps. <laughs> I don't. A, a maximum of six years ago, because Nanako <laughs> was born. <laughs> Nanako was six. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Oh? We'd like to go further out of this ho-dunk town. Really? Wow. Might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip. You better not cancel on us, Dojima. I'm sitting here just thinking. I realize Dojima has work, and his work needs him to be obligated. But even police officers get days off. But he's a detective. Tech Excuse me. But yes, you even are right. Detectives get days off. So why? It's because he's a workaholic. But like, how come they've ne I'm not interested. I want to come. I want to get out of this fucking town. I'm stuck here with Yuri Lowenthal and... Yeah. Let's go together. I can't even remember who voices Chie and Yukiko right now. I feel so so stupid. And someone's gonna... Quick, use the internet! <laughs> someone's gonna point it out in the comments and I'm gonna feel like an idiot because I'm doing it now. Like, I know that... We have a character coming up who's voiced by Laura Bailey, but besides that, uh, and a character coming up that's voiced by Troy Baker, but besides that, I don't remember. The only reason I remember the four, the four that I do remember, though, is because they're the Atlas Quartet. <laughs> that's gonna load and throw you all the way back. Yep, scroll back up. Amanda Winley. Amanda Winley is Yukiko. Chie Satonaka is Satonaka. She is voiced by. Just wait for it to load. Because it's gonna do that again. I yeah. knew. I, I was trying to get down there. <laughs> In this Tracy version of the game is Tracy Rooney, and she's later replaced by uh, Aaron Fitzgerald, 
who is really good at stuff, is one of the voice options in Xenoblade Cross, actually. Along with <laughs> Yuri Lowenthal! The, the entire Atlas Quartet is in there. <laughs> Except fucking, for Toy Baker, fucking, he's the only one missing. Fucking year of Yuri Lowenthal. I made it. Actually, better. I, I don't. I don't remember if Laura Bailey's in Cross. I don't know. I don't care. I don't even care. You can look it up if you want. That's not how you spell Laura. It's U A R. Or A A U. I mean, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Popped up right away. Huh, I wonder why. Not like it's in my anyway. <laughs> It's not like it's in your search history or anything. Not like I'm signing to Google and it's like things. I mean, you, I you could spell. you could just type Laura Bailey and look under her stuff. I could. If Laura Bailey is one of the fem MC voices, uh, just click that. Yeah, I figured as much. I figured. You might as well just go to the Wikipedia. I figured I wouldn't get a straight answer. Go to Wikipedia. If it's on the internet, it must be true. Video games. Let's scroll down to 2015. Skylanders Superchargers. Mad Mad. No. I don't see it in there. Yeah, no. Alrighty. Just close the tab. I was, <laughs> I was just curious. You'll be going on an outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. What, he can't leave us at home alone? I mean... No, we said we wanted to go. I know, I'm just also sitting here going, you know, the murders only happened once we got into Inova. Is he suspecting us? We're always eating side dishes for dinner. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. So, do you want me to cook? Because we know how to make Daigaku Emo. Well, what do you mean you don't know what Daigaku Ino is? Pick an ingredient! Uh, he slapped- he slapped left shoulder and my controller vibrated. Uh. <laughs> Yay! Box lunches! <laughs> Nanako- We got really nervous and like, Nanako is like beaming. She's like, yes! Yes! Box lunches! <laughs> You've been selected to pack the family's box lunches. I'm just sitting here going, how often did... Has she ever had a back box lunch? Because, like, one of the things... I know... I know as a tourist, one of the things I'd want to do when I go to Japan is eat a flippin' box lunch. I want to try. <laughs> she can't wait for vacation. I want to check the TV. Look, it's gonna rain on Monday. Guess what we're doing Monday? We're gonna eat a lot of food. <laughs> we're gonna eat a lot of beef. Nothing catches your eye. Kitchen, do I have ingredients? <gasps> no. We need to prepare lunch tomorrow? It said if you have ingredients, you can prepare oh, lunch tomorrow. I thought it said we had ingredients. No. Time to save. Should we make reservations now? Yes. That sounds like a good idea, Dojima. It might fill up really fast because, you know, it's golden week. Too bad this isn't Persona 4. Golden! I'm waiting for uh, them to remaster Persona 4 again and put it on PS4 and call it Persona 4 Platinum Ultimate Max Edition. Platinum Ultra Max Dancing All Night Super Golden Edition. Yeah, and you know, just add in, you know, both arena games and Dancing All Night and... <laughs> throw in Q. A throw Q in there for no reason. Throw in a, a remastered copy of Q that's got a slightly better system of dealing with... Uh... Alright, I guess we're going to sleep. But I want to study! No, we're going to sleep.